Clowns robbing banks with spoons. Payday 2 by the Russian Badger. Okay, so I just tried starting a prediction, and the prediction was just named, How y'all feel about green beans? That's literally all it was. <laughs> Apparently, how y'all feel about green beans is not compliant with the content guidelines. <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk about green beans. On Who Twitch. shut you We're down? Get Twitch? Shut down. Twitch, bro. How y'all feel about <laughs> green beans? That's literally all this I talk about. is not compliant beans. with our <laughs> content <laughs> <laughs> I shot him with a guac. He couldn't have died. Aw, shit. Welcome to Payday 2, the only game where you can god damn it. The video is about a comically large spoon, not a comically large woman. Can't you go find a pickup basketball game or something? Bruh. Jesus Bruh. Christ. Welcome to Payday 2, a game where four clowns attempt to save a game developer from bankruptcy by doing literally anything for money. Doesn't matter if it's cooking meth or stealing nuclear weapons. Yeah, I need you to break into this warehouse and steal this package. That's it. And you break in, and inside the package are like nuclear yeah. warheads. It's it's a great one. Like, I what do you do with these dukes? Eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Today, fuck my finger. Ow. Ow. Today, we're keeping it comical yet casual. More casual. Not that casual. Wait, go back. Give me some goggles. <laughs> casual. Because eight months ago, we had the comically stupid idea of bullying the Payday 2 developers into adding a comically large spoon to the game by dropping some not so subtle hints. Nice. <laughs> really like the uh, the comically large boxing gloves. They're comically large spoon. Now, like, I want that. Oh no! Yeah. I swear yeah. to God, <laughs> Almir Listo will definitely <laughs> add that if we bully oh, him. Oh, I would enough. use that so much. Once again, proving that bullying gets results. I don't care if it gets me demonetized. Bullying is an extremely useful tool. Shut the fuck up, you two. Because as of April Fool's Day, the comically large spoon is now in the game, and it's not a piece of shit either. This thing hits like the second shot of the vaccine. Yeah, it'd be bad. Oh, yeah. As soon as he steps. Out of the car. <laughs> Welcome to work, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Overkill even held the challenge of killing 5 million people with the spoon, and anyone who contributed at least 100 kills unlocked a comically large spoon of gold that hits even harder and has a percentage chance to set people on fire. If the dog doesn't work out, I just fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> that cloaker said, I'm out. He got set on fire, and he just jumped into the bathroom. He was like, I'm with and you assholes killed 5 million people and unlocked it in like 48 hours, with it's servers wild. overrun by psychopaths torching entire police forces with a giant piece of cutlery. What are those psycho- I'm gonna be honest, this is actually why I love the Payday community, because as streaming Payday and just doing Payday stuff, it's just been very just interesting to just really yeah the game's got its you know faults game's got its issues especially with modern you know netcode and connectivity and stuff but i mean honestly it's a very fun game and this is exactly the stuff the community would do if you were to give the community the, you know we're gonna oh we're gonna give you a diamond spork but you got to kill 10 million, 10 million enemies on Mayhem and above. It'll get done in like 48 to 72 hours. Like no, no questions asked. And that's why I love the Payday 2 community. I was just took out our guys with a spoon. <laughs> Man, I did six tours in Iraq just to get smacked in the jaw with a golden spoon. <laughs> with the 24K spoon. <laughs> the Payday Twitter man himself, Almir Listo, even asked me ballin', but at what cost on Twitter? If that isn't a sign that I need to switch a spoon for all it's worth? I don't know what is. Rattle them, boys. <laughs> oh my god. So dispensing with all this background bullshit, let's dig into this damn spoon. Dig a tunnel with the spoon. Dig to China like you were told you could as a kid. Hopefully you don't experience any human rights violations. <laughs> god, I should say that. Using the comically large spoon is the most fun I've ever had in Payday 2 because it is so good, so satisfying, and so stupid all at the same time. Oh, he disappeared. I made that man dead. <laughs> <laughs> I ran the sociopath perk deck purely because the thought of Jacket the Chicken Man running at FBI agents with a giant spoon while spamming a tape recorder seemed pretty funny at the time. I'd like to Honestly, that is the most meta combination right there, especially because sociopath goes so hard with melee. That's nutty. To invite you to my party. I love how the FBI <laughs> just slowly back away as a lone man with a spoon approaches. <laughs> I swear this is not a build video because duh, I already did that for sociopath, but I'll still admit if one of you 
assholes could pull off a stealth build with this hulking spoon, I'd be mighty impressed. I hit shift tab to go online on my friends list. What's the first thing that I see? Stealth, stealth build 2021. <laughs> his name is based. His yeah, fucking name is based. <laughs> Look at his profile picture on the right, though. That made a rather dapper tuxedo. The panic mechanic on Sociopath is perfect for the spoon, with enemies going into short bursts of uncontrollable fear, basically shitting themselves at the sight of you committing mass murder with a spoon. Who do you want to be today? You can go anywhere. You can be anyone. Who do you want to be? I'm going to be honest. This is why jacket mains terrify me. Like seeing a good jacket main, a proper good jacket main is next level insanity. They, they can do things. I don't know how they do it. They are just built different. <laughs> So I'm just mailing Look, every They just dream. panicked in sync. And this dude's like, just out of his mind. <laughs> what am I? Where am I? How it. am I? Look at that fear. Look at that. Look at that panic. You're so scared. And once I realized you could put that same fear into bulldozers, yeah, those bulldozers, oh, man, did that hit some type of way. I've never felt more like Scarecrow in my entire life. Soon this city will know what fear is. What real fear is. Rude are just running circles at the end. The buffoon is flummoxed. The buffoon is flummoxed. Look at him. The buffoon is flummoxed. He's fucking the counters. He's so perplexed by everybody hitting him with his spoon. There's something so cursed about meeting a bulldozer and it just starts yelling in Spanish. Bulldozer, prepárense pendejos. Hijo de puta, saca la pal banco. Is that, is that panic? Is that what down. this is? I can panic a bulldozer? That's, That's so nutty. fucking weird. It's like a mosquito got in a suit or something. <laughs> oh, you just made him like despawn. You hit him so hard. Cloakers. I'm going to be honest. It's one of those things that like... We, we, we crap on modern AAA, now quadruple A games for a lot of this stuff. Like, oh, enemies just disappearing, ragdolls, textures, etc. Netcode. But like, it, it's... <laughs> There's something special when it's paid in. It adds to the experience, if that makes sense. It adds to the entire experience just to whack a bulldozer with a giant spoon of gold and it just to transcend reality and just vanish before your eyes, just reduce to atoms. Are in the same boat. At least if you run Counter Strike Ace, that automatically knocks them flat on the ass if they try to drop kick you to the point they start avoiding you. Like, oh shit, that guy's got a spoon? I'm gonna kick somebody else. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm like Division 2, and that was like 29. Yeah, Counter Strike, bitch! Yeah! <laughs> Come here, cl clunker. 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 Come on. <laughs> Come on, Miss. at least hit me, Spider Man, you dumbass. Come on. Of course, for <laughs> Fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please are here. Hey, pizza. It's okay, I'll get it. Fuck. Nice. <laughs> think, Dallas, think. Oh, really think you were faster than a cloak. <laughs> Mark, you don't understand. He's a rapper and he points at his head. He's just like, let's go. No, you can just throw the bags through the skyline. <laughs> what was that? What the fuck was he that? He just girl? looked at you like, think. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, think. Right, I'm training you in. You really wanted to kick me. You would have jumped up here an hour ago. Oh, perfect, like, perfect. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Around. No, why did he skip out right. on me? What the fuck? Yeah, that's so stupid. I don't know. Sees the man with the spoon, runs right past him. Not fucking yeah. with that guy. I was no. so dedicated to the spoon, I unbound my right click to aim down sight, replaced it with my melee button, and searched for the perfect primary weapon to complement my cutlery. Starting oh, no. with Glocks, because they've got a lot of bullets, right? Guys, so I degrading. shot him with a Glock. He couldn't have died. <laughs> 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 Glocks go bird. Then I was thinking Flammenwerfer because who cares about the stopping power of bullets when I can literally reduce someone to atoms, whether they be a security guard, FBI agent, or household <laughs> pest. Anyone who f I'm gonna be honest, I saw a I don't think it was a jacket main, but we were doing No Mercy. I think it was on Mayhem, and dude absolutely carried with the tag team duo of like minigun and flamethrower. It was absolutely just 
art to see. It was amazing. Here's a cockroach has never seen the video of the guy with the blowtorch. <laughs> <laughs> Literally incinerating, obliterating. Literally reduced to atoms. That's not even a Thanos joke. Dallas's facial expression is so good for that. Just someone incinerating a cockroach. Just like the evil satisfaction of it all. You actually changed that cockroach's state of matter. You transferred its atoms into another form. I use buckshot for roaches. Yup, must be my chat. But I also wanted something that would fit my current aesthetic, which I can only call Vietnam Veteran Venom, with an appetite so massive the spoon is actually an appropriate size. Vietnam yeah, Veteran right there. <laughs> oh, no. oh, this ain't it. This ain't it. Oh, it gets even fucking worse when he's in that. Oh, <laughs> Stand stuff. Dick out. Tell me about the rabbits, George. Oh, no. What? Okay, I'm just now seeing Badger's skin. What the fuck? <laughs> I really wonder how many people nowadays are going to understand. Tell me about the rabbits, George. If you know what book and I guess technically film that is, comment down below. It's going to be a scary amount of people that don't understand Lenny and the rabbits. <laughs> it doesn't have to be like this, bro. I wasn't going to use the Garand, even though I thought it fit well, because you guys need a break from the M1. Like, I love it as much as you guys do, but not in every fucking video. Jack, well, thanks to your 36 months, dog. That's a long time. Uh, no, no. <laughs> he was waiting. He was literally waiting for it the entire time. If you didn't read that sub, he would be so disappointed. <laughs> so I landed with a Mossberg 12 gauge tactical shotgun. American, powerful, reliable, American, and most importantly, American. Yeah. It truly is my favorite everyday carry sniper rifle. <laughs> I got that sniper with this shotgun somehow. This yeah. shotgun's amazing. And by the time my loadout was solidified, it was pure fun from then on out. We even had Martin join the heist, so Overkill might want to update the lore because Mozzie is now canonically in the Payday 2 <laughs> cinematic universe. I can't fucking believe it. But to be truthful, you do have the Milky Way in America. I've never seen it here. Okay, hold up. I'm not going <laughs> to rain on Martin's parade. <laughs> But the Milky Way is the <laughs> galaxy that contains our solar system. <laughs> so if we didn't have the Milky Way, we would be pretty <laughs> fucked. Is, is, is that really true, though? <laughs> yeah. 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 You idiots believe in the moon. And oh. I swear I'm not pulling your leg. I'm waiting for somebody to ask, is that like the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Is that like the galaxy? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that shit at? Where'd that in the sky? Much like any special guest we ever had to the squad, I accidentally made him feel alienated and old for no reason. I really wish I could stop doing that. Shit, hang on, my dad's calling me. I'll be back in a second. Tell your dad to rob the bank. Dad, I'm robbing a bank. Dad, I'm robbing a bank. Dad, robbing a bank. I'll call you back. He's got dementia. Oh, freaky man. Oh, no. Oh, that'd be really bad. That'd be awful. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Hey, Dad, Run, it back. Run it back. Run it back. There was this show that was made in 1994. We're not off to a good start because I was born in 92. Unless I was a little baby watching this show. Oh, my God. Badger is three years older than me. That is a reality check. Oh, my God. I was 95. You were not born in 92. Yeah, born in 92. I'm 28. Oh my god! <laughs> That's out of control. Yeah, well. Wait, how's that out of Wait, what? I just forget how old I am. It's horrifying. That happens to me all the time, Martin, of like, wait a minute. People were born after the year 2000? Exactly. That shit ain't real. No, that's not I real. Know. Playing with Martin just reminds me how America first I am. Because I assume everybody knows the history of America, what's going on in America, and that we now have a comically large president in America. But apparently that's not the case. Ronald Reagan, that's good. No, I'm not. No, that's just George, 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 George Bush. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Who saw the picture of Jimmy Carter and Joe Biden where they look comically large and comically small? I swear. I swear. Jimmy Carter looks comically small. Post it in general, Heavenly. That's not a real picture. That's a real ass picture. That is bullshit. There's no way that's real. Joe Biden looks like King Kong. Jimmy Carter. It looks like a damn Roblox character. No way. <laughs> this is the real, not, bro. Jimmy Carter is like a damn ventriloquist <laughs> dog. <laughs> Jimmy Carter in the photo. Uh, oh, like Jimmy like Carter Spider looking like Mini Drake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> that focal length that's is so bad. But even a comically large. Honestly, yeah, that's got to be some like forced perspective levels of jank. That is. 
That is some spice. I have no other way to word that. President will never be as cursed as default Dallas. There oh, isn't no. a character out there, whether it be Thanos or Master Chief or Isaac Clark, that is more cursed to see in their default state than the most American heister alive. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's super <laughs> cursed. You don't want that. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the fuck I find just default Dallas so hilarious. Yes, so uh, cool. I heard it, Grouse. I heard it. Which one? Fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Like oh, like fuck. Standing in front of a dozer. I know you like to see it. So we can move to Are Golden they? Dallas. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. And then oh, like to yeah. Minecraft Dallas. Oh. And then we can move on to Cell Shaded Dallas. Oh. Oh, and then we can go on, on to beat up Dallas. <laughs> Why do I have so many Dallas facts? Yo, what the Dallas doing? What the Dallas <laughs> doing? And then we got the Chrome Dallas. Got the oh. Chrome Dome Dallas. It was me, oh, Dallas. Oh. I'm the one who forced you to do overdrill <laughs> First World Bank. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. My God. I will admit, though, as I've never actually used Dallas. I, I can't remember who I started off with. It wasn't Dallas. I ended up uh, maining Jiro. Jiro, how it's always been... Uh, uh, kind of my go-to after the the yakuza pack dropped and i mean he's got the cool animation with a katana where you can bisect a cloaker i mean it's kind of cool but really it's just one of those things that like i don't really like i don't know i'll have to reach out and explore some of the other heisters if i didn't do jira i'd probably do jacket honestly just because i'm absolutely just a rat <laughs> as far as cursed images go the abomination grouse created by the name of couch mandal abomian oh, comes no. Very close to default now. When I was streaming this, I got paid a lot of money to make the most disgusting mess. So I created Couch Mandalorian <laughs> Obama. <laughs> I like the Mando Bama. It's Couch Mando Joe Bama. Oh, Mando Bama. Hey, my bad. I'm sorry. Mando Bama. Misidentify. It's, it's my fucking religion, you intolerant. Sorry. 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 I love that God, one, it's the worst mask I've ever made. I'd it's like to give a final perfect. shout out to Almir Listo, Overkill, the Payday gang and all of you out there that made the comically large spoon possible you guys are the ones that made this thing blow up the way it did i was just a tiny spark and on that note play payday 2 i find it hilarious yes. the payday 2 twitter account constantly tweets that out because you think that if someone is dedicated enough to follow payday on twitter they already play the game but that doesn't stop them one bit they just keep letting it rip wait a minute i want people to play paycheck too i love retweeting <laughs> payday twitter man with just the quote tweet consume pay Payday content. <laughs> and finally, I now have a TikTok and a second channel for short form shit posts because these videos usually take a month to make, and yeah. there's so much motion capture and animation and shit posting involved. I may as well show you what I'm working on and give you a small preview of the upcoming video. That's the froggy chair. That's the froggy chair from Animal Crossing. How did I not notice that? I'm very much a boomer ass desktop person, but apparently all you Zoomers consume everything on your phones in this tall ass aspect <laughs> ratio. So fine, if you want to- I can't stand it. I can't stand the vertical aspect ratio, but it's super popular. Tiny bits of videos before the full video is out, you can hit it up down below or don't. I don't really care because they're all <laughs> shit posts anyway. <laughs> relies on coconut does. It literally does. I don't know why this image of a coconut is here, but when I remove it, the game does not. <laughs> yeah, what if you <laughs> remove it? What, what not if you put a different it? JPEG in there, but call it coconut? <laughs> you would know that there's a fake. The antibodies would come and suck it up. <laughs> It and that's about it. Us. I'd like to thank you so very much for watching. <laughs> so Barry. It was me, Barry. <laughs> I made them draw Lola Plane. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. If you're going to delete a picture on your computer, do not delete coconut.jpg. If you're going to take do a not. picture of the president, make sure you use the right focal length. And if you're going to rob a bank, don't use a fucking spoon. Uh-oh, you freaking moron. You just got <laughs> arrested. <laughs> Raising money for kids with cancer. St. Jude and GCX, June 18th, 4 p.m. EST, twitch.tv, just GCX event. We'll leave a link below. Please help. Oh God, please. <laughs> It'll be a fun time. I will be your own personal clown. <laughs> as long as you're donating money to save the kids. If you're watching this after the 18th, at least you got to see 
Dallas dancing <laughs> It's not so bad. More badger. This was perfect. I will say that this does, at this point, wrap up our uh, reprisals of uh, Badger content for uh, time. There was a period of time which I did upload up to four videos a day, and uh, I wanted to go back and I wanted to make sure that I could reprise some content. And I haven't honestly watched this in, God, a year at this point. So this was effectively a fresh viewing of this. And, uh, you know, I really do appreciate this. And I want to also take a second where it's fairly easy to do React content, and I can kind of, you know, batch some of these out. It takes time and art and effort. And as Badger said, it took cakes months, a month between videos. And, you know, I want to make sure that I'm doing my part that, you know, in doing something like React content, please go check out the original creator. If you have not seen Badger before, I do know that there are people that have found Russian Badger through me. Please, please go check out the Russian Badger. Please watch his backlog, even if it's on a second monitor, backlog, etc. Just please go watch his videos. YouTube needs to push his content more. I've seen videos that have hundreds of millions of views and some of them don't even have the in near the quality that this does. And I want to make sure that, uh, you know, everyone I react to in, in a, any capacity, I want to make sure that I'm sending them to. And generally creators like Badger are people and it, everyone Badger plays with people that, you know, I respect and look up to and I find very inspirational and are the difference on YouTube. So if you haven't checked out Badger, go ahead and check out Badger as well as anyone else that interests you, whether that be Goose, Heavenly. Heavenly does have a VTuber. Uh, I think he's done some stuff with Zentrea as well. And uh, this needs to be what gets pushed on YouTube. I'm a little, a little sick of the negativity, a little sick of all the stuff. And uh, as somebody that does do React content, I feel I haven't been nearly as chatty in this one. And I do kind of apologize for that one. I hope the laughing was infectious and a lot of people enjoy the laughter. This was a very great video, and I want to make sure I was giving it the respect that it deserves, and uh, there won't be another reprise of these. This is kind of a one-and-done situation, if you will. You know, give it a, uh, give it a chance to uh, have that reprise, but then, uh, you know, that's it. <laughs> I look forward to what Badger creates. I look forward to many, many more however long badger wants to keep doing videos i absolutely love them and will send as many people over as i can thank you all for watching i definitely do appreciate this let me know what your favorite moment was down below did you find the russian badger through me did you did this uh inspire you to go check out the originals and therefore the rest of his backlog let me know in the comments down below and uh stay safe out there drink all that fun stuff see you in the next one